All right, this video is about a Windows service application and adding a timer to it. The Windows service application, I'm not going to show you the creation of it. I just follow the directions in this walkthrough, which you can also do. It's pretty clear and straightforward. And I'll show you some of the problems you might run into, though. Uh, after you create it and follow directions, you're going to go to the services uh, panel in Windows and start it. And then you're going to go to the event viewer, and you should see the events that you added to your code. Um, when you want to change your service, if you want to enhance it or do some troubleshooting, you have to remove it using remove programs. And what I'm going to enhance this one with is by adding a timer. But the trick is you need to add a different kind of timer, not the regular Windows Forms timer. And to add this other timer, you might need to go to Choose Items when you right-click in the toolbox. And you need to go to the .NET Framework Components and add the timer that's in the System's Timer namespace. Double clicking on that timer is going to add this other event handler. And I'm going to start the timer in the on start of the service. You see the timer 1.start there. And the event is not a tick, it's the timer elapsed. And in there, I'm going to add to my uh, log. And you can also do things like start a process. You can start a program. Uh, just starting Notepad isn't terribly effective, but you could call a, a procedure in there. You can do all sorts of other things. Here are some of the properties of the timer. Remember the interval is in milliseconds and it has to be enabled. And the other big thing that you need to do when you make a modification to this service, uh, after you've uninstalled it and you've, you stop it in the services from running, then you uninstall it. Then after you make your changes within Visual Studio, you need to rebuild the projects. So right click on the projects and rebuild them and then you will be able to